Hey all, welcome to the Brocade Campus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. Uh, today we're going to have a quick look at the support save command. So support save is very similar to uh, show tech support um, with a couple of exceptions. One, in support save you can create custom or, or you can add custom commands onto the, uh, onto the output. Uh, where show text port, you're stuck with whatever's in that in the uh, text port. Um, and the second benefit is you can either um, display this so you can send it to the console like like a show tech, but uh, better you can send it to a TFTP server and then take those files from the TFTP and send them off to tech. So um, either way, uh, but this is a more robust command than uh, than show text port, but they both have their place certainly. So um, if we do a uh, support save uh, and hit question mark here, we have a few options here under support save. So you can do um, you can do it all and do all of them. You could do core. You could do um, you know infrastructure layer two, layer three, uh, operating system, platform, um, uh, SPX, so switch port extender uh, or system commands. Generally, you want to do all. Um, so, so let's just let's just pick one for here. So we'll just say core, um, and then you're going to send it out to a to a TFTP server address, right? Um, actually, before I do that, what we could do is we could do um, say an all, and then we have the option here of doing display. So if I do display, it's actually going to send it to the console, right? So you would need to capture the console just like you would do with a show text port. Um, so we could do that way, let it run through all of that. Uh, it takes, you know, 10, 15 seconds, depending on the chassis, right? If you've got a fully loaded 32 slot net iron, it's going to take a long time to run this command. But, you know, on a small ICX here, it took, what, 11 seconds to run that command. So not really a big deal. Humanly readable if you want to do it that way. Um, you could also add a custom command to it if you wanted to, or, or many custom commands. Um, so for example, let's see, we could do support save list custom commands. And uh, so here's our custom commands, here's our index here, and here's the command, right? So you can have up to 32 custom commands added onto the end of that uh, support save command. But in this case, we're just gonna run it default, we'll output it to a TFTP server, uh, and we'll see what happens. So we'll do a, a support save, oh, oops, excuse me, and then uh, we'll do an all, and then the IP address, right? So 192.168.1.19 is my PC in this case, um, which is running a TFCP server. And then you could choose the directory uh, or the, the, the path name if you wish. I am just going to use the default. Um, and let me get my TFTP server where I can see it here. So we'll just use the default. Um, lastly, you can choose a, uh, a user tag to be added, but we don't need that. We're just going to choose the defaults. So it takes a few seconds to collect that information. And then you're going to see um, all the files start coming in to my TFTP server, right? So the files and then the logs coming in. Um, let me look at the log here. So, right, so we see many files. These are gzipped um, text files for the most part. Um, so lots and lots of files are going to be sent over, right? So, yeah, it only took 12 seconds to, to, uh, to collect those, and then it uploads those, all those files, and then you could take those files and in turn, you know, upload them to TAC. So however way you want to do it, um, again, if you add the custom commands, it'll run those as well on top of all the others that it runs. But, you know, this is a fantastic command, and TAC can do some amazing things with the output from this command. So uh, that's the basics of it. And uh, that's it for today. So thanks for joining.